Alright, let's go deal with this game camp then. Hopefully it goes a lot better than the uh, last run in with a gang member. Now the little thing at the top of the screen said there was only one member in this gang. But again, we've got a much larger camp than usual. So where is this guy? Over that way. There he is. Can I talk to him? Take some ganja to Bolavu. Okay, let's accept this. So he's given us the ganja. We've taken his his drugs. What the fuck? <laughs> How are they so quick? Now there's a gunfight going off down there too. This is bizarre. I guess this is just armor AI for you in a nutshell. Half the time they're complete shitters who can't hit anything. The other half of the time they're so quick you like literally cannot react to them. You know, I poked my head around the corner, just was about to start firing, and then he just like spin botted on me or something. Like I know I'm not the best player at this game, but people who've watched me play this game for a while can probably attest to the fact that I can hold my own in a firefight. This is just crazy. There he is. What's he doing all the way out here now? Let's see, did we get a shot on him? Is he bleeding anywhere? No. No, of course not. Because, you know, that wouldn't make any sense, would it? Okay, I managed to loot my stuff without, um... incurring his wrath. Oh, he can't see me right now. It's not necessarily... Oh, now he can see me. But that's not necessarily a bad thing, is it? What? Oh, God damn it! Take the ghillie. Put that one in my bag. Well, have I just duplicated a ghillie suit? I, I've just duplicated a ghillie suit. Okay, armor, you do you. Kind of wish I had a grenade. Could just, like, drop it at his feet and be done with it. You know what? I'm getting the car. I'm gonna get the car. And I'm just gonna fucking ram him with it. Alright, this is gonna take a little bit of clever off-roading, but I'm sure I can make it there. I kind of came into uh, into this imagining that Tanoa would have these incredibly dense jungles that you couldn't even get like a quad bike through or anything, but there's more than enough space to get vehicles around her. Alright, and we're through. So where is this guy? There he is. Ramming speed. Okay, I... Apparently put bullets into my windshield by doing that, but he's down. Oh, I can actually use this gun. It's novel. And more ganja on him. Oh, I can take this vest too. Nice. It's always nice when they drop gear that you can actually use, because you don't, you know, have to buy DLC for it. It's almost like this base game content in armor or something. Alright, and we're back on the road. Now, we do still have this job here. Let's just clear that waypoint. We don't really need anything to do with that. Lack would like some blood, but it's only for support. I don't really need support right now. What I need is money. Oh, I've still got these titans in here. Um, okay, can I pick any of them up? I can pick two of them up. Let's go drop all this crap in here again. And, oh, it took my bag off of me. Great. I mean, I suppose it did say dump everything. Okay, perfect. Let's just drop that in there. Pick up a couple magazines for my pistol again. Nope, that's headgear. I don't even know why I clicked headgear. It's clearly not the thing that says magazines. All right. I think I might go down to Tavu and just fuck about with the military police a little bit. 
You know, I got a couple kills, steal a couple guns, lower some stability, and then once it's really close to being abandoned by NATO, what I think I might do is just spend all of my money on stuff, then take it somewhere that is stable to sell it on, and then do like a couple plus supply runs back and forth until I can get another police station in the uh, the town that was just handed to me on a silver platter. On a corpse-ridden, bullet-filled silver platter. Oh, that's a shame. Covered off-road is part of the contact DLC, so I can't drive that. But since that respawned, I could have taken that vehicle again as well. And look what we have here. Are they dead? Yes, they're dead. Okay, good. Let's take up a position and see if we can uh, hide for a bit. Now, I don't believe I brought a bag with me, did I? No. Okay, let's just buy another while we're here and see what kind of incredibly expensive artillery we can get for $24. Okay, let's go back down to the carryalls. Let's go for a geometric one. What did we get in this one? Oh, this one's empty. Wow. That is a surprise. I was expecting to get, like, like an intercontinental ballistic missile or something in this one. But we can pull our car up to those bodies, take that gear, and... See who else we can find to kill. Wait, if I open the inventory on my car... Can I see ground? Yes, I can. Okay, but I can't leave the body like that. It's a shame. Oh, I can be seen? By who? There's a guy around that way. Oh, by them. Yeah, that makes sense. Enemy. Oh shit. That was like the last bullet in that magazine. Oh, got shot in the leg. Is he dead? Nope. He is now. Alright, uh, I need your meds, because I'm not carrying any. Since I've got AS, what I can do as well is if I go back home, I can repack all of my magazines. That I get from screwing around like this. God, these carryalls are absolutely my favourite bags in the game. As the name would imply, you can carry pretty much anything in them. So good. Like two submachine guns, a pistol, a cap of all things, and just a ton of ammo. Can't really fit that into uh, any other bag. There we go, that's three SMGs and two pistols in there now. And some binoculars. Yeah, let's see if there's any more innocent police officers for us to torment out here. I don't think there will be. No, it doesn't look like it. It's a shame. Oh, well, I suppose I can just go home and uh, drop my uh, gear off. And it seems like that is out of anarchy now as well. So hopefully we'll get a ton of rent from that. And I'm going to go sleep as well when I get home since it's starting to get lit again. Right, let's have a look at Tarfu. It's 52% stable still. Oh, it's got a, a thousand plus two influence in tags. 2% stability up here, and 52% in Laka, okay. So is now more stable than Tarvo again. Let's, uh... Oh, hang on, I need to get out of the car to use my, uh, assistance menu. Let's just put all that money away so I don't lose it. In fact, you know what, let's pull in properly since we'll be going to sleep for the night instead of leaving the car on the road. It's very inconsiderate taking up curb space like that. It always pisses me off when I have to walk around a car to get somewhere on the path. So, time to sleep. So I guess just sleeping 12 hours will be enough, right? 6pm to 6am? Oh. 6am isn't particularly bright around here. We did get some more tax though. That's very good. I'm happy with that. Let's uh, go to sleep for another couple of hours.
Well, so if that's 2,000 we've gotten from tax, we should have enough to put a police station in... in Messicaville. Oh, that's perfect, actually. I'm gonna go do that. I know I could save for a warehouse to put in lacquer, but I think just improving the amount of tax that I'm getting from these towns is a far more sensible option than, uh... than going for a warehouse to start with. Because if I can then get, you know, this amount of money from two towns, then I'm just going to be able to buy the warehouse quicker anyway. Then I can start outfitting the police officers in these towns properly. Then it'll be time to look at the FOB stuff. So I'm very excited to start that. I'm just kind of trying to do things in stages here. You know, see how the, uh... How the town capturing works on these three towns up here. Have a play around with that. I missed the turning again. Then I was going to have a look at the FOB stuff. And then since the FOB will allow me to recruit more AI teams. Look at the AI teams following that. Which I think was like a, a logical way to do it in. Ah, oh, there's gang members here. How many? Several. Alright. We need to go up here, the uh, arms dealer here, to tell us where they're coming from. Oh shit, there's a lot of them. Okay, resistance, take 50. Let's bribe this guy. Oh, he doesn't know about any gangs near here. So where are they coming from? Oh, it must have been from one of the uh, camps that were already here. Well, I can't do anything about this. If I take out a weapon, they're just going to shoot me through one of the walls. And I don't actually think there's any buildings thick enough to stop the weapons from penetrating. Oh, I don't actually have enough of the police station yet anywhere. It's annoying. Well, you know what? Well, we're here. Didn't expect to survive this long, to be honest. Oh, the engine's dead. Oh shit, still full of gear. What was I thinking? Alright, this is bad. Oh, there's one right there. Thought I'd have shot on him, though. If I get up, I'll just shoot the uh, bush. Okay, I need to get. Uh, take that P90. Magazines. Thank you. There's one coming around here. I can't see him for the size of the pissing weapon. Right, I need to come back for all that gear. What I might do, if I can't get this car to go, is I might go deal with that situation. Make deal with those gang members, then take a run down to Tarvu and pick up the off-road that I moved over there. So I've got money on me. Also, I did get money for uh, killing gang members. I just don't seem to get any if I'm not wanted by them, and I score the kills. Which is odd. I felt so stupid when I died to that guy while I was holding the P90 as well, because I was aiming around like where I thought his head was going to be. And then I just saw something moving, like, like a shadow in the scope. I thought, oh, I'm aiming way too high. So, yeah. I'll learn my lesson on that one, I guess. I can't believe I took that vehicle back into there without actually offloading the gear as well. That's so stupid. Like, I actually went back home before I came out here because I knew I needed to offload my equipment. Well, that was a decent number of kills, I guess. Right, I've always had five of them. How many's left? There's one there. Two. Is there really only two left? Not sure if I'm going to be able to recover this P90, though. Without, like, actually holding it in my hands. Oh, it just about fits inside my ghillie suit. All right then. Let's drop that back in there. Will this thing drive? I know the engine cut out on it before. 
No, the engine's completely dead. Okay. Well, they're running off to the coast. One of them's dead down there. Right, okay, I want to go and get that thing, the off-road down there. It's just another kilometer to run. It's probably going to end up swapping out the uh, the Jeep for a off-road at some point anyway. There's more fighting. Is that down in Tavu? It sounds really close, actually. I don't see any bodies appearing on my map. It's probably just people shooting at more drones in that case. Alright, off road secured. Let's head back on over and uh, see about loading all of the gear into the back of this thing. Probably gonna wanna go and refuel this afterwards as well, because of course, civilian vehicles will start at about like half fuel or less. Okay, are these gang members still here? Yeah, they're over that way. Okay. Should have plenty of time to move this equipment around then. Do you know what I should have done? I should have brought a bag. Because this is going to take a while. In fact, one of these gang members dead on the floor here will have a vest for me to use one. In fact, this one has a bag as well. Oh shit. Not good. God's sake. Why does this always happen? Seriously. Where is he? He's pushing. Right? Oh, he's in the building. Look at him right there. Dead. Perfect. There's another guy around here somewhere. Can't see him. There's definitely somebody around here, though. There has to be. Yep, I can hear bullets flying, but they're not aimed at me. Oh, there's one down there. Alright, let's take this kit back. What's it got in it? Oh, dead man switch, toolkit, demolition blocks. Yeah, not stuff I particularly want to be carrying, I'm gonna be honest. There the bugger is. He's got a pistol on him. Can we... Can we talk to him? No. He won't talk to me. He's got nothing to say. I do really want to kill him, though. Like, that would be a, a really good move for me right now, if I can get this guy dead. In fact, you know what? If it's just him walking around like that... Then we got everything we need to solve this situation right here. Please tell me that actually killed him. Okay, yeah, it looks like it. Uh, whoops. Didn't mean to kill the tree, too. Alright, hopefully one of the mana vest I can use as well. I think that's all of the gang members dead. Why do so many of them have contact DLC stuff, though? Seems like it's very much weighted towards them carrying this. Yeah, they've all got, um, contact items. Guess there's not really any point in looting the rest of them. I'll just get the gear moved between the vehicles and I'll get out of here. Alright, that's the last of it. So, get all this stuff back in here. Oh God, there's so many magazines. Okay, there we are. So we have... A ton of gear, this is everything we've got. And there's a ton more of those promets on the floor as well, which I'm not going to take. Let's get out of here and actually put this stuff away this time around. In fact, I know this is stupid, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Tavu first. Since I picked up a lot of maps and compasses and stuff, I'm going to sell those on there because then I should have the money to put the police station up here. And then hopefully we can stop getting gangs spawning in like that after we get this place out of anarchy. Oh shit, I did not mean to do that. I genuinely didn't mean to do that. I looked away and I just ran a guy over. Oh shit. Um, well I killed him. 
It's not going to do any good for the town, is it? 50% stability now. All right, we're good. That was close. I think if I hadn't hidden as soon as I did, then they would have spread down the off-road full of gear. 